Hello and welcome to our channel. Welcome to our video. Feel free to leave comments down below. So you ready to add a second battery to your e-bike. This video shows what I've done. If you do this and your bike explodes, house burns down, any problems, oh well. I'm not an electrical engineer. I don't know what I'm doing. My goal was to increase the distance. So I added a battery with the same voltage and the same amperes. If I wanted to increase the speed and the distance, I would keep the same voltage, however, increase the amp hours. The higher the amp hours, the more speed. You can mix the amp hours together on the battery. However, when you're adding a battery, both batteries must have the same voltage always. The stock battery comes installed in the long tube that you step over. It's a 48 volt 13 amp battery. The controller is within the housing there also. It's a 48 volt 18 amp. Don't confuse amp hours with amps. Alright. Let's get started. I had to, of course, buy the battery, a cutting board, some zip ties, the parallel connector, XT90 plug, some wire. I'll put a link to all these things down below. The battery came from Amazon. It's a 48 volt, 13 amp battery. It had to be installed on the luggage wrap because there's no other place to put it. Yes, that's a cutting board that I bought from Walmart to use as a mounting board for the battery. The dual battery parallel connector was purchased from Area13ebikes.com. Go look at his videos and his site. When searching for the XT90 connectors, I came across this XT90-S connectors, which are supposedly to reduce spark when connecting and disconnecting. The wire that I used is a 12 gauge that is pre-tinned and silicone coated. That is supposed to help with heat resistance and with soldering. Alright, the first thing I did is put the battery onto the rack of the bicycle. This is the way the bicycle looks before I started this endeavor. Here is what the battery looks like installed on the rack. I just cut the cutting board down to size, drilled some holes, ran some zip ties through it to hold it into place from sliding forwards, backwards, and side to side. This will probably hold just fine. Okay, here comes the fun part. I had to convert all the connections. The EPT Pro uses Dean's plugs. The new battery came with Anderson plugs. And of course the dual battery controller used a totally separate one called the XT90s. To make everything standardized, I decided to take all the connectors off and 
use the XT90S. So, you know, I had to remove the Dean plugs. Oh, don't touch the bare black and red controller wires together even when there's not a battery connected. I'm told you can fry the controller by touching the wires together. Also soldering, oh my goodness. Yes, I'm a beginner. This was uh, no fun, but hey, by the time I got about the 10th or 12th connector, I was doing pretty good. And yeah, sure enough, that is indeed a clamp holding the iron. After you finish soldering the wires and burning your fingers, it's time to put it together and let's see how it works. Connecting the batteries and the controller to the parallel connector is pretty simple. The batteries plug into the male plugs and the controller plugs into the female plug to keep from accidentally plugging them incorrectly. This installation location is not the most beautiful. However, if I find that the heat created of this dual battery connector is minimal, I will relocate it into the box where the controller is on the bike. After the wires were tidied up and whatnot, I took this thing outside, far away from the house, to give it a charge. I charged the batteries simultaneously with two separate chargers without incident. Gave it a ride, gave it a test, everything seems to work fine. After I took it on its uh, strenuous test drive, I decided to place the dual battery controller up inside the same area that the uh, controller of the e-bike lives. I wrapped some electrical tape around the exposed wiring to give this a more finished look. Even though I used my bike rack for the battery installation, I'm still able to use my saddlebags. <laughs> 